Well, let's move back home this week. So the Chinese government launched a whole range of policies, all aimed at boosting the real estate sector. One group that's most likely to benefit is first home buyers with better rates and lower down payments. But any positive effects so far has been very muted. Xi Jinping tries to explain why in this report. September to October have always been hot months for sales in the real estate sector, but this year proved an unhappy exception. Transactions in Beijing during the National Day holiday starting late September dropped more than 20% year on year, and despite several favorable measures released this week by the central government, many potential buyers are still hesitant about taking the plunge. I have no urgent need to buy a house. I can afford to wait and see. But for property developers with liquidity problems, they cannot afford to wait. Many are going beyond promotional discounts and selection prices aggressively, and they may need to with some new units, seeing their price decline by over 40% so far this year. And it's also been a chilly spell for property on the second-hand property market. Falling demand has forced some real estate agents to cut costs by letting staff go. A weakening global economy and the general tendency to buy when prices are headed up rather than down suggests that buyers only enter markets when the sentiment is very positive. The global economic movement, micro control policies, and market participation are all influencing the property market. For all these reasons, insiders say it will take a while for any new policy to take effect and change the mindsets of potential home buyers. Xi Tianxing, CCTV. Oh, that's all from me. Back to your able hands, Edwin. My able hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much uh, indeed. Well, uh, Wei Su will be back again, of course, because uh, this China is at uh, six o'clock tonight, Beijing time. But stay with uh, NewsHour for these stories and more coming right up after the break.